Almost 130 years ago, people first began looking up at the night sky through this telescope here at Lowell Observatory. Over a century later, people still gather here in Flagstaff to look at major astronomical events like the Perseid meteor shower. From the discovery of Pluto to helping create the first international dark sky city, Lowell Observatory plays a huge part in astronomy research. But one of the things that makes us unique is we specialize on science of the solar system. So we study things that are within the solar system. Lowell astronomer Nick Motskovich studies objects like meteors, asteroids, and, no pun intended, their impact on the Earth. I, I like that area of research because it's very tangible. I can wrap my head around it and I can actually go out in the night sky and see these objects as they come in and show up as shooting stars. One of the things they also watch is the annual Perseid meteor shower, which peaks this week. Wednesday night, you can look up and see 50 to 75 meteors per hour. Machkovich says we can thank comets for all of the shooting stars. A comet can leave behind a trail of breadcrumbs, um, and that trail of breadcrumbs populates what we call the meteor stream. The Earth is plowing through this stream of particles, and those particles are hitting the atmosphere at high speed and burn up and vaporize and produce that flash of light. With a cap on light pollution, many people travel to Flagstaff and Lowell to see events like this. And Moshkovich says they can get thousands of visitors each day. So meteor showers aren't just used for research, but also to connect the public with their place in the universe. Their lives and you know the Earth in a broader context of the cosmos and how our understanding of the cosmos is very much tied to our existence here on planet Earth. The best time to catch this meteor shower is between 2 a.m. and 3 a.m. However, if you're not able to catch the peak this week, don't worry. These shooting stars will still be visible over the next couple of weeks. Reporting in Flagstaff, Mason Carroll for Arizona's Family.